Well, 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 it has certainly been quite a while since we've been here at the Nook Inc. starting airport. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Ryan here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons and welcome to a brand new island. For those that missed it, I posted a video recently of uh, the reason why I deleted my most recent uh, 1000 hour plus island. Uh, you can watch a video as to why I'm doing that, uh, rather why I'm doing this. Uh, I've linked to the video will be in the description down below. But uh, without further ado, everybody, if you've already watched that or you just want to go ahead and get into it. Hello, everyone. Welcome to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons Island. Now, with this playthrough, there's going to be a lot different between when I first originally played this game versus how the game is now. When the game first came out a couple of years ago, we did not have Happy Home Paradise. We didn't have uh, the ability to go to Mystery Islands, Red's Island, or not, I'm sorry, not Red's Island. Uh, Harv's Island didn't have all of the NPCs. Uh, so how to play the game back then versus now is a little bit different. And one thing I've kind of been curious to do, one since the inclusion of Dream Addresses, but also since the 2.0 update, was to experience this game in the way that a lot of people wish that they could in the beginning, which is, what if they, quote, released Animal Crossing when it was complete? Well, given the fact that they're not really updating this game anymore, I would say that this is about as complete as it can possibly be. So... We're starting a new island and I'm, I'm, I want to see how I would play the game now versus how I played it back then, given that there's so much to actually look forward to now. Back then, you know, we had to wait for events every, uh, every few months or so for the first year. And now we just simply have them built in. Uh, and, and, uh, and yeah, so we're flying to the island with you to get help settled. And I wanted to talk about as well too, uh, the starting island. I think that happens after I do this. Is this your first time applying for one of our packages? Uh, I think this is just, yes, it is. I don't know what what happens if I say I'm moving. I'm just going to say, yes, it is. And act like I'm playing this game for the very first time. Our next step will be to take a picture of you. So we have all the basic hairstyles, all the basic eye shapes, all the basic features. We're going to have to gather, get a lot of money in order for us to get all of the things that we need to in order to do uh, what I want to, uh, and primarily that is to firstly unlock terraforming ASAP. Now I'm not going to do anything too different with my character this time around. I'm going to simply make them look about as similar to my old character as much as possible. I think that was pretty much about it. I think I went with that nose, and I think I went with this smile, although that one's not too bad either. Now we'll switch it up a little bit. Let's use that smile this time around. And that's all good there. Confirm. Okay, looks good. Let's start talking about your new home. So exciting. So this is uh, probably the uh, most difficult choice that people have when starting off this game, of course. It's really the first major choice that you have. Uh, well, not this one. Not Northern or Southern. I know. I don't know if some people still choose Northern Hemisphere, even if they have Southern Hemisphere islands, or, or rather live in the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, if you didn't know that the, the seasons, depending on what hemisphere you're in, uh, change on their date, uh, depending on which one you're in. So I know that there for a while, a lot of people were choosing either Southern to get something different or Northern just to be more in line with, you know, how actual season events were handled in this game. So Northern Hemisphere. But this is this is the one there. I know there are some people that would even go so far as to keep resetting their game until they got a good island layout and the one thing the one so this is the one that i wanted to talk about here and the the, the reason why is because it's different uh when this game first came out you really with the information that we had only had to think about a few things we knew that you could terraform and uh, that was pretty much it. <laughs> we know that you could dig stuff up and move things around. I know there were a lot of us that thought we could even move resident services or the outlets that lead into the ocean. Uh, it turns out none of that. So here is what we have to think about nowadays with all of the new content that's been released and everything that we know. Uh, one, we know that we are eventually going to get Captain's Mystery Island visit boat. Uh, so if the dock location or size matters to you, because the dock sizes can be different, you can see this one here is smaller than that one over there. Uh, that would be a consideration for you. 
uh, we know the location of resident services cannot be changed. So this one is okay. I don't like the fact that resident services is off to one side uh, away from where the airport would be. Uh, and I think really, I like how close these are. And I'm not taking into consideration anymore the layout of the rivers currently. The only thing I'm taking into consideration is the outlets, where they're located, and what the features are surrounding them. Uh, I'm not going to choose this one. My main island uh, first time around was a double south outlet island, and that was fine, but I've already voiced many times <laughs> my problems with designing a double south outlet island. Um, so really, we are looking at a south outlet on the left or right of the airport to the complete opposite side so we don't have a small outlet for example we don't have a, a southwest outlet and then a southwest uh, outlet as well on the west side of the island so with that in mind the only thing i'm really taking into consideration is the location of the airport uh relative to resident services and I have kind of a general idea of what I want to do with this island. I think I want resident services to be close enough to the airport, but not so close that I feel like there's no breathing room between where you walk in versus where resident services is. I also kind of like the idea of the airport being on the corner of the island rather than in the middle of the island like these three. So I think... I think I'm just going to choose this one and I'm not going to give too much thought about it. Like I said, I am going to be terraforming this time around and I like the placement of the outlets. So we'll go with this one. Uh, before we depart, I have just one final question for you. If we could only bring one thing with you to a deserted island, what would it be? Uh, sleeping bag, a lamp, some food, something to kill time. In real life, I would choose some food. I, you know, I don't know if this actually affects anything at all. I know like in Stardew Valley, you can put what your favorite thing is and it says when you eat a, uh, a star fruit or I can't remember what type of fruit it was, but it tells you that it tastes like your favorite thing, which is kind of weird if you put that your favorite thing is like a, you know, pets or something. Now I know that I also had a Southern Hemisphere Island on another Nintendo Switch. And I'm sure people are probably wondering why I don't simply just continue on with that island. You know, I already had basically every house on the island and a pretty decent uh, progress made in regards to money and nook miles. Uh, but I actually don't have that switch anymore. So that's uh, that's why we're doing it on my main switch. <laughs> I, I really did miss this intro though. And one thing I'm definitely going to love hearing again is the prologue music, but we're gonna skip the intro for now. Very excited to see who our first two starting villagers are. Uh, is that a white airport? Or I don't think I get my airport color until just now. I would really like to not get I think orange. Oh, nice lime green airport is not bad. And who are our two starting villagers here? Uh, it has been so long since I have done this. Uh, I want to say Billy and Becky are the two villagers that we have here. I'm going to introduce myself. Plucky. All right, it was close enough. I got the last 50% right. <laughs> so Plucky and Billy. So got Billy correct. So we'll be getting rid of Billy and... Uh, plucky asap in exchange for some squirrel villagers here but this is uh wow this is incredibly nostalgic um i haven't been to this part of the game in quite a while it's really kind of eerie to be able to walk around everything freely uh i can't pick up anything but no music i get to just freely walk around it's very peaceful one thing I wish that this game still had was the ability to adjust the volume music or change the music that you're currently listening to, but I digress. Let's continue on. Hello, Mr. Nook. So we're going to be starting with putting out our tent first, and there's the wonderful prologue music that you don't get once you complete the first seven days of your journey here in New Horizons. Admittedly, I do pull this song up every now and again on YouTube just to listen to every now and again because it's just so nice to listen to. But hearing it in game again, it mm, brings back all the memories, all the feels. <laughs> it feels good. It's nice. All right. I want to give myself more room than the NPCs because I want to set up enough area for me to be able to start making money. 
There are so many things in this game now that require a lot of money. We have access to so many bridges, inclines, items. Uh, they did decrease the cost of moving things, so that's really good. But if I were to give myself the most room, I think I would set up my house back here in the corner and then maybe just start setting everyone else up uh, in the other corner. So we'll go ahead and set up our tent here to start with. Kind of far away from everyone, but that's okay. And the first stakes are in the ground. Set up my tent. Big first step on a brand new island. I'm really ready to just name this island at this point because I have one name that's been sticking out to me and it's nothing too crazy. And when, when you guys hear it, you probably think, oh, that's it, <laughs> maybe. But it has been sticking sticking out to me like a sore thumb and I'm, I'm so excited to name it this so simple but first i have to help billy and plucky so let me set up billy's tent like i said i'm going to set up billy and plucky's tent in the corner of this main spot here i'll find you a spot we will put billy's tent here and then we'll set up plucky's tent we do want because we do still have to go through the tutorial before before anything we still still have to go through the tutorial and so they i know for a fact they're going to make us set up the bridge as long as we have a good spot for one, then we're fine. And it looks like there's one right up there. Two tents down, everyone has a spot picked out for the new tents now. I need to get back to the plaza. We can move on to more serious business, like throwing an island warming party. <laughs> I thought the more serious business was naming it. So I need to speak with Tom Nook. He's gonna make me fetch some sticks first and foremost while everyone cleans up the plaza here. And he's gonna investigate the apples, that's right. That's another thing too. So my, oh, <laughs> so my local fruit is apple. I remember that being uh, a, a big kind of thing that when when the game first came out, we all really, really paid attention to. And once the party is over, not quite sure what else I'll have access to do. I think the only thing you can really do at the end of day one is to simply clean up everything. And speaking of the fruit, one of the things as well too that was kind of around a lot in the beginning was fruit orchards. I remember I made a fruit orchard for the very first time because it was a really good way to make money. There are a lot of different ways to make money in this game now. And I'm not sure if growing fruit is still the best way to do it in the early game, but that's uh, a part of it that I am incredibly excited to, to explore. I love that it's just immediately nighttime as well. It completely ditches its, uh, its going by actual clock hours to, to speed this part along just for for ceremony's sake allow me to properly welcome you to your new island i've participated in many ventures and endeavors over the years but this may be the most exciting helping develop a thriving new community entirely from scratch will truly test my business acumen and perhaps my skills as an outdoorsman we may not have the kind of numbers that i originally envisioned but that just means we'll have to rise to the challenge okay but can we name i suppose we can't call this a deserted island anymore what should we call it okay are you guys ready for my super basic super idea for a squirrel themed island that i've thought about uh and it was the first idea that i latched onto and basically said i if i think of anything else it will ruin what i think is an is a nice neat name idea it doesn't really matter anymore because I probably put the name of the island in the title of this video, but the name of the island is Acorn. <laughs> uh, I'm doing an all squirrel island, so it just literally makes the most sense. I love the name. It's nice and simplistic. And it's actually kind of adorable too. So welcome to Acorn, my brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons island. I haven't really quite decided yet on how I'm going to design it. The only thing I know for this island theme is that there's going to be 10 squirrels on it. So, yeah, welcome to Acorn. I'm certainly okay with Acorn. I'm more than okay with Acorn. Oh, that's right. They say all their ideas at the same time. I say Acorn, Rocks a Lot, Swoleville. Ryan suggested Acorn. And what a surprise. Everyone loves it. And what another surprise. We could just go with Acorn. Since you've proven yourself by naming Acorn, I'd like to rely on you for other critical decisions we'll need to make on this island. I still love that whole turnaround. I named the island, therefore I should be, I am worthy enough to completely run this island. This goes to show it's not about, it's not about experience, it's about who you know. I know this is all a bit much, so if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means, go ahead. We'll keep the fire burning. Maybe I'll go do that, because I'm pretty sure there's really nothing else that I can do. First, you want this. I'm assuming that's my cot. Thank you very much. Although we're camping. There's nothing wrong with sleeping on the floor, I suppose. I will simply just go on to the next day. And this video will be two days of the prologue rather than just one. 
since I completely forgot that going to sleep allows us to progress. Oh, wow. I So running around my island, I just noticed this gigantic rock feature here off to the side. I've always wanted to decorate a nice rock feature on my island. And the ones that I had before were never... I never had this much real estate on them. But this is nice that, that I have a gigantic one here off to the side. If I wanted to do some sort of beachfront, you know, musical section or, or cafe or something. So that's awesome. There you are. Hope you had a pleasant nap. First, you'll need one of these, our very own Nook phone. One of the new features that was released was the ability to buy this new app that gives you some beginner tips. Uh, definitely not going to buy that. I bought it for completion sake before, but now that I know exactly what it does, uh, certainly no need for me to buy it. If you're brand new to Animal Crossing New Horizons or really just don't mind the pop-ups and like the, the feed for its, I guess, characterization and personality, then that's great. But for the most part, uh, it doesn't really give you much new information that I think most of us don't know, depending on how often you play this game. Ah, oh, here it is. It's called Island Life 101. It's a message delivery service of source. Feels like giving it a try. Uh, I don't need it. It's nice that they just straight up offer it to you, but no, I'm good. Uh, I, I, I think it's free. I hope it's free, considering that it seems like it would have been free now. But yeah, you can always get the app later at Resident Services. Do you have one more thing, however? Uh, oh, right. <laughs> the bill! Because what can you do in this world nowadays without a bill? The getaway package, you can pay your fees with miles instead of the standard bells. My goal really is to get through this part of the thing as soon as possible. I don't think I'm going to try to let like necessarily speed run to get three stars. But the faster I get to three stars, the faster it is that I unlock terraforming, which is really kind of when the work starts. So the, this first part is going to be kind of about earning enough miles and earning enough money. And I don't know when, for example, farming becomes uh, accessible to us. If, if no other reason to continuously start a new save file, it's just to hear the music. I'm so sorry that I keep on gushing about it. So I'm just gonna live out the life of, a, of, a, of just a regular Animal Crossing player, just a re regular good old fashioned New Island Animal Crossing player. Good morning, Plucky. I'm offering a free DIY workshop that can help you really build out your island experience. Yes, because I need axes. I need fishing rods. I need all the all the primitive technologies you got. It's going to be a shame to let Billy go. I actually like Billy. That outdoor hat is perfect for acorn. No, <laughs> you know what, Billy? I agree. No real need to keep anything at this point, since we won't have access to the museum for a little bit. And speaking of which, I haven't even really fully decided what I want to do with the museum. There are, are, I know that one of the options that you have is to not donate anything to keep uh, the tent instead of having it be upgraded to this gigantic museum. And that's kind of something that I was thinking about as well. Because I've already completed the museum, and admittedly, completing the museum is it can be kind of a chore. It is a nice way to get Nook Miles tickets, or Nook Miles, over time, of course. But other than, I guess, keeping a log of all the, the stuff that you can see over the course of your, you know, your adventure here in New Horizons. Even once I got done with it, I never really went ever back to the museum to check in and, and see everything. Or to look back on the days and times when I caught stuff, because... Well, everything was caught pretty much at the exact same time. <laughs> so so I knew when things were caught, uh, really the only reason I'd have to go is to just go look at everything. And while that was cool, even that eventually kind of lost its, uh, its, its kind of luster. So undecided on whether or not I want to have a completed museum uh, at all. We'll see when we get there. Um... I'm close enough to getting it. I was able to complete quite a few of these other ones that are quite sim like easy, like ride on the bulletin board, change your, your passport photo, make a custom design. So we are almost there. Okay, so this is really cool. You immediately get access to, well, you don't get access to everything, uh, but I didn't think you would have access to the Mario stuff already here at the beginning, which is kind of cool. You can, get, <laughs> you can get the outfit for mario and luigi that's already that's really awesome i think i am gonna go ahead and just pick up a mario hat to replace the current hat that i have it's cool don't get me wrong billy but that mario hat is so much better to cover my head while i wait for the, the proper haircut service to come by 
One broken fishing rod later. Plenty of fish and bugs sold. I think watering these last five flowers that I just bought should get me all the nook miles that I need to get 5,000, and it looks like it will. I have 49.50 currently. There we go. 5,000 nook miles tickets, and then some. So with that in mind, we can now take this to Tom Nook, and we can finish paying off our our tent loan. About my moving fees. Yes, I would like to pay my moving fees. I owe you 5,000 miles. Here you go. Nice and easy. All done. And I mean, now that the tent's paid off, might as well go ahead and just uh, talk about upgrading my home. 98,000 bells total. Uh, yeah, let's do it. So we get the house first, and then we pay it off later. Right, that's that's right. And you can tell how long it's been since I've had to pay off uh, anything in this game. Uh, different color, please. I'm going to be pretty boring here and choose... Uh, well, aqua's pretty cool. You know what? I'll do, I'll do an aqua roof. I mean, not that we can't change it later. We'll do an aqua roof for now, see how that goes. Homeowners get an automatic Nook Mileage program upgrade. So this is where we get Nook Miles Plus, I think. Sweet. So now we can do tasks like crazy. Well, everybody, that is going to do it for today's video. There's really not much else to do, honestly, for today. Uh, my house isn't going to be ready until tomorrow. Uh, so with that in mind, I, I can simply just spend the rest of the day. Now that I have Nook Miles Plus... Uh, now that... I now that I have Nook Miles Plus tasks unlocked, I can just simply do that. Acquire as much as I can. That way, the more that I can unlock stuff, the faster I can unlock stuff, the faster I can get to designing Acorn. So thank you all so much for watching and joining me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed. If you are new here and want to continue following along with this journey, please be sure to subscribe and turn notifications on. That way you can see when new videos are posted. And if you enjoyed this video, as always, be sure to give it a like. It always helps. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next one.